two students in South Dakota will be heading to our nation's capital soon to witness firsthand how the government works. Roosevelt senior Jack Brenneman is one of the kids who won a chance to participate in the prestigious Senate Youth Program. Kevin Vance Matt Holson shows you what he hopes to learn during this special trip. And we let you know, we want to let you know we talked to him before President Trump announced a deal to end the government shutdown. I was expecting a big climactic ending. A fan of politics and a standout student, Jack Brenneman was excited when he found out he landed one of the top two scores on the Senate Youth Program test. In March, I'll head to D.C. for a week um, and we'll do some Senate stuff. We'll meet people like the President, Supreme Court justices and such, kind of see how the national government works. And then in addition to that, the, um, the scholarship. On top of the trip, Brenneman also gets a $10,000 scholarship. He's applied to several universities, including Georgetown. He's excited to be making a trip to Washington, D.C. and hopes to pursue a future in politics down the road. I just think elections are really fun, really cool, and I just find politics very engaging. He's well aware of the current climate and would like to see an end to the partial government shutdown. I don't think that it's in the best interest of the American people, and I'd like our lawmakers to stop using the American people as pawns in their political game. Brenneman's success is no surprise to Joel Sage, an English teacher and the Advanced Placement Program Director at Roosevelt. Jack's a phenomenal person, and he'll finish with a GPA well north of uh, 4.0, and, and uh, we look forward to seeing what he does in the future. Being involved with student council and a handful of other groups has helped prepare him for this moment. Brenneman encourages other students to find what they enjoy and go after it. So I would say join things that you actually care about and are interested in for like prospective students and incoming high schoolers and such. In Sioux Falls, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. Because I have that in your other. The House of Representatives is just moments away from voting to reopen the government. If that passes there, the president will sign the bill and the government will reopen. We are continuing to monitor.